1961, they established something called the Central Office of South Vietnam, the COSVIN. And this is a set up in Cambodia. And they do this to run the war in the South. It's basically their, their command, COSVINCOM, we might would call it today, to run the war in South Vietnam. And while they're doing this, they divide the South into various districts so they can organize uh, throughout the country, even down to the village level. Now, in 1961, the North intensifies the military as well as the political struggle against the South. And what they're hoping at this point when they do, when they do this is they think that they can uh, politicize the situation enough and make it violent enough to where they can provoke a general uprising against the South Vietnamese regime. One of the strands that often runs, or that certainly always runs through the North Vietnamese military thought here is that they can create a situation of instability and terror in the South that is strong enough and, and, and indoctrinated enough people to where they will get this spontaneous or provoked uprising in South Vietnam. They never get this, but they're always hoping that it's going to be part of it. And this is not unusual for other communist movements as well to have, to have, the, same, have the same type of view, and they're generally just as unsuccessful, at least with a, with a mass uprising. 